Hi students, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about form 4 science 3.2 about pulse rate. So we want to learn what is a pulse. What is a pulse? Pulse is the rhythm of or the artery, the blood rhythm for the artery. See here got the definition. Huh? <laughs> Very weird. Huh? Every time they want to teach something, huh? but they didn't give at least the definition first what is the definition of pulse so is it here i haven't read maybe it's my fault um see even here it didn't say what is the pulse okay so a pulse is a rhythmic throbbing of the artery as the blood propel propel to them this is a, the rhythm lah. and you can get your pulse point you can get the pulse from your pulse point for example i want you to try to get your get a pulse on your neck can you press it and concentrate lah if you don't concentrate and no patient you cannot just just learn like that quiet focus okay i know my pulse um because every time in my class also i teach students so i always test if you cannot try a few times go to the quiet and concentrate the second one is this hand. This hand you can feel right here. You need a Chinese doctor to do it. Let me feel my pulse rate. Wait, where is it? Like? Yep, I feel it already. One, two, three, four, five. I can feel it. I hope you really learn to do this huh? because you can save life when you know. You don't, you don't think like, hey, yeah, pulse rate for my for doctor. You never know, maybe your one day your grandmother, grandfather is sick and you need to know the pulse because you want to um, you want to get more information and you want to when you call ambulance and the hospital you want to inform them about the pulse or what so that by doing this you know what is the next step to do rather than the people ask you, you say I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Then it's uh, very difficult. The head, this, this one is more uncommon. La. The most common one, I think, this one and this one. Like, isn't it great? Like, Chinese medicine is actually like touching here, it can know what is your problem. Because I asked my friend, the Chinese friend, learning medical at China, he said when they, people, ch Chinese medicine, they touch, uh, touch it, they can feel the rhythm. They can feel the strength of the pulse, the speed of the pulse and so on. So let's say if you are more healthy, usually the pulse rate is stronger. So you know the person is healthy. A sick person, the pulse might be softer. So when the doc Chinese doctor touch it, mm, you already sick because the pulse is softer. It depends. But American medicine that tends to use the stethoscope, like putting here, put here, put here. It's still the it's still the same thing uh, You just want to know the the sound, the heart, heart beat and so on. So this is the pulse rate, pulse point. Let's carry a few experiments to determine how gentle age and physical activity. So there are three factors that can influence the pulse rate. Correct or not? Let's talk about gender. Is it, could it be guy that actually has higher pulse rate compared to girl age the older you get the pulse rate increase or decrease and the physical activity if you exercise the pulse rate increase or decrease okay so let's do this so we can test this okay how to test this uh let's say manipulated is the gender pulse rate so you bring all the boy and the girl and then you you test it and what is the conclusion so who is faster and who is slower? Usually it is the female, female that has a higher pulse rate. Okay, and how about age? The older you get, how fast or slow? Okay, so we can see at here um the pulse rate for see your athlete but I think it's very healthy uh, athlete. Um, around this age, like you are young people, right? So you should have pulse rate around. If you are very healthy, you should have pulse rate around forty nine to fifty five per minute. And this one is good. Um, not good is your heart is 
82, 74, you need to do more exercise and so on. So look at this, at this chart, we can see that um, what happens if you get older, correct or not? As you get older, what happens? As you get older, we can see that the pulse rate increase. So the older you get, the pulse rate will increase. So I think I'm roughly around 60, yeah? 60 around here. For my age is 34 and I'm around here, 60. 60, 50 like that. Oh, I'm here, I'm here, around here. Um, you can check, uh, huh? you can check yourself so you know that you are healthy or not. If your pulse rate is higher than mine, means you are not good long because I'm so much, much more older than you. Um, exercise is very important, okay? Remember to exercise. And then we can see um, human pulse rate. Right. What is this? Human pulse rate based on physical activity. Of course, if you exercise more, the blood flow faster from your head to your leg, your leg to your body. So the rhythm speed, as you do more physical exercise, the pulse rate will increase. So these are the few relationships you need to know. Okay that um, women have higher pulse rate, the older you get is higher, and the pulse rate for physical activity is higher. You need to imagine in your mind, you able. You need to imagine to make the experiment, because we know that science is based on experiment. How you know that the, as the person go older, the pulse rate increase, how you know? I can know by doing experiment. I take 10 people of old people, I take 10 young people like you, and I check the pulse rate, and I, I, do, I do the calculation everything. Then I do in the report data analysis, and from the data that I collect, I write. The pulse rate for people with 70 age, the mean pulse rate is, let's say, 80. However, the mean pulse rate for young people around 16 years old, like you, you are 17, 17, 16 years old like you, is 50. Therefore, the older a person they get, the higher the pulse rate. You see or not, this is science. Not I say for fun, not I'm telling you a story. I'm telling you a fact that can be observed, can be experiment, can be test, can be reason, can be even. Infer can be conclude, correct or not? So this is science. So why you need to get this concept? Because when you answer the question, you need to the question can ask anything. What are the manipulate variable? What are the conclusion? How you want to do the experiment? How you want to tabulate the data? How you want to what the procedure? What the method? You, you, you get what I mean or not? You see the whole picture. When you see the whole picture, you are not scared of the question asked you because any question that they ask is in the picture. You need to understand, not memorize, but to understand. Moving on. So I think I just stop here because um, it's already 9.30 at night and I will continue next video next time. Hope you enjoy this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.